go ahead and have a follow-up now to a story that you saw first and only right here on 4029. Yeah, it's about Wonderland Cave. Its unique history as a nightclub and its uncertain future tonight and also only on 4029. We bring you stories from those who have been inside and the latest on the cave right now. Hey, I haven't been up here since 31 years ago. For generations, this group and their families have been coming to Bella Vista. I came here every summer from the time I was born. My dad started coming when he was 12, early 60s, so probably I was eight or nine. Nan's from Mississippi and Bobby's from Kansas City. They've been friends for 68 years, and Wonderland Cave is home to some of their fondest memories. We stayed in cabins that were built in 27 that had no air conditioner, so mm -hmm. when it gets as hot as it is today, we'd go to the cave to cool off, and we just explore the cave. Part of the mystique uh -huh. and, and the magic of it because it was kind of like our private resort. This was years after the cave first closed down following a stent as an underground nightclub during Prohibition. But the cave would reopen. Did you guys it's, ever go in when it was a, a club and dance or any oh, of that? Yes. In the tell 80s? Me about, tell me about that. It was pretty fun. I mean, I remember drinking in there and dancing and I was married so it had to be had past 87. Yeah, and it looked so much similar to what it did as a child when I was eight or nine years old. Someone else with firsthand knowledge, John Leffler. I was in Wonderland Cave during the second version when it was opened up more as a uh, rock and roll type club. It was unique, it was a great experience. Uh, it was an unusual thing to get to do. And I think all my friends and people that went there, the novelty of it was, was a real draw. Cave. But the decades where music could be heard coming from the cave have been replaced by decades where the only sound is that of the occasional passing car. The mighty pine trailhead here is as close as you can get to Wonderland Cave right now. And when we first did a story, well, there was a steel plate covering the entrance. But as you can see now, there is a shipping container in its place. The trail that runs along the cave has also been recently closed, saying it's under construction. So, is something actually happening at Wonderland Cave? Oh, I'd love to go in it again. I've got great memories. We checked both the Bella Vista and Benton County permit records, and there's nothing listed for the cave address, 201 Darkmoor Road. So once again, the cave's future remains a mystery. It's sad that the history's going away around here. You know, it'd be nice if it would open back up. I don't know if that's a logistic that would happen. I'm sad that kids can't see it. I wish they'd reopen it. I know there's liability issues and a lot of other factors, but people need to see this because it was really unique and it was beautiful. Now, Bella Vista police did not have any information about the container covering the entrance. However, they did say they've increased patrols in the area to protect the historical site. They say they haven't received a lot of calls about the cave to vandalism, but one possible attempted break in this year. We did also reach out to a spokesperson for Runway NWA and the Walton family, which owns the cave, but we have not heard back.